2010 was a melancholy year for this father because my youngest Kathleen turned 14 on January the 29th. 13, the most magical year of youth, has now officially ended for all my eight children. Today, however, June 2nd, 2010, 13 came into my life once again and prompted me to reread my letter to Kathleen on her 13th birthday. My dear Kates, 13 is an exciting birthday because it is the beginning of your terrific teens. 13 has always been my lucky number because it is such an amazing digit. Now you may ask, my dearest daughter, why do people consider 13 unlucky? Why do many skyscrapers have no 13th floor? Why do planes often fly without a 13th row? Why is Friday the 13th considered so unlucky? How can such an unlucky number be so lucky? Kates, I'm sorry to report that I do not know how to answer those questions, but I do know this about the lucky number 13. In Jewish tradition, God has 13 attributes of mercy. Also, there were 12 tribes of Israel, plus their one God, 13. There are 13 principles of the Jewish faith, and 13 is considered the age of maturity for young Jewish men or women like yourself. Christian tradition holds that Jesus of Nazareth was honored by the Magi who visited the manger on the 13th day after his birth. Jesus also chose 12 men to be his disciples and as a band of 13 they birthed a theology based on love and forgiveness. There were of course the 13 original colonies that founded your blessed country, the United States of America. The Great Seal of the United States was designed by Charles Thompson and has 13 olive leaves with 13 olives, 13 arrows, and 13 stars. These form a triangle over the eagle with the number 13 on each point. On the reverse, the pyramid has 13 levels. There is so much more. Let us not forget basketball, your dad's favorite sport. Will Chamberlain, the greatest basketball player of all time, wore the number 13 and three NBA teams, plus the Harlem Globetrotters, retired his number. There are also 13 players in a rugby league team. 13 is a prime number. It's a star number. It's a Wilson prime number and a Fibonacci number, which are all mathematically unique and quite remarkable. The 13th Amendment to the United States Constitution officially abolished and continues to prohibit slavery and involuntary servitude. Thirteen, my dear Kathleen, is the youngest age you can watch a PG-13 rated movie by the MPAA without the recommendation of parental guidance or my consent. There are also thirteen cards in a suit and it is a delicious number, especially in a baker's dozen. There are so many examples, my dearest Kathleen, on why this number is so special to all of us. And now you understand how foolish people can be by assigning 13 an unlucky status. Now go on and seek out all the magical attributes of this number in your 13th year, remembering always that you will pass quickly through it as time truly stands still and it is us who fly all too swiftly through time. I love you terrific 13, Dad. As I stated earlier, on June 2nd, 2010, 13 appeared once again, having a most unexpected impact on my being. The United States of America, all the media reported, is now 13 trillion dollars in debt. This is a sad legacy for our baby boomer generation to leave our children. 13, however, has always been lucky for me. So here are 13 ways to turn the economy around and have lucky 13 mark the beginning of the end of deficit spending. One, move investment real estate out of the passive income tax category, placing it into the portfolio tax category to offset gains and losses with Wall Street equities. This will result in restoring a strong and balanced real estate market, saving homeowners, states, counties, banks, and the federal government trillions of dollars. Two, 
Expand medical, nursing, and all healthcare educational institutions to graduate doctors at the rate the U.S. produces lawyers and nurses at the rate it graduates teachers. This will result in our newly educated, health-conscious youth to live a vigorous life and be well-equipped to care for 75 million aging baby boomers who think that death is a preventable disease. 3. Ensure our outstanding sophomore through senior students in high school begin carrying at least nine credits a semester in the local area community colleges. This will result in expediting the evolution of the secondary educational system into the Internet age while greatly advancing our children's education. 4. Update and expand the U.S. national grid to provide clean electricity for up to 500 million Americans. The result is once alternative energy sources begin to replace fossil fuels with mass amounts of electricity, the grid will be sufficient enough to carry the power to all of America. 5. Expand nuclear energy utilizing our naval masterminds with particular attention to new breeder reactors that run off the current nuclear waste stockpiled and the retired nuclear warhead arsenal. This will result in a new generation of nuclear reactors and technology that will begin consuming its predecessor's waste while conserving fossil fuels. 6. Negotiate and establish at least 10 250 year old term land leases in strategically located emerging international markets similar to the Hong Kong Agreement enacted by Great Britain and China. The result is U.S. businesses and culture will reap the benefits of nationalized safe zones all across the globe, maximizing our access to emerging markets for trade. Seventh, provide the people and emerging political parties with an avenue for change by repealing the 1911 U.S. Public Law 62-5, which limits the House of Representatives to 435 members. This will result in Congress increasing its membership to 2,400 representatives answerable to only the constituents who know the representatives personally as the founders intended. PACs, corporations, lobbyists, and the media will lose almost all their influence on the representatives, which will once again become the house of we the people. 8. Do not sell any federal land. Land lease the federal land only with 20% of the proceeds going towards retiring the federal debt. The result is the national debt will decrease, lease revenues will net a much stronger return on the investment than outright real estate sales, and after 99 years, the land, along with all of its improvements, reverts back to we the people to lease all over again. 9. Repeal the 17th Amendment with each state bicameral legislative body electing a U.S. Senator every six years. This will overturn William Randolph Hearst and his fellow Robert Barron's masterful scheme to influence the U.S. Senate through their funding and critical media control of statewide U.S. Senate campaigns. The states, as the founders intended, will once again check the federal government through the United States Senate. 10. Award federal road, bridge, and other infrastructure business as long-term maintenance contracts to the private sector. This will result in contracting companies being Johnny on the spot with maintenance and repair, greatly lowering the cost and lengthening the useful life of U.S. infrastructure. 11. Provide federal tax incentives to primary schools that instruct their students in Spanish, French, and or Portuguese, which are the three additional national tongues of the Americas. The result is that U.S. citizens will better understand the cultures of their neighbors in the Americas, facilitating communications and trade between our neighbors. 12. Implement the metric system at the federal level. The U.S. is one of three countries that do not officially use the metric system, along with Burma and Liberia. By adopting the metric system, it will improve our engineering and international competitiveness all over the world. 13. Contemplate what Shakespeare meant by, the first thing we do is kill all the lawyers. Whether we like it or not, the law is the glue that holds this great nation together. Without the law and the lawyers, we would rid the land of the frontline defenders of liberty. This is Lucky 13. Stand close. Thank you for webbing in.
Katie, my beautiful Katie, you're the only girl that I adore. When the moonshine comes over the mountain, I'll be waiting at the kitchen door. Yay, Katie!